Oh, we use we should please stop stop stop. Oh my goodness. Thank the Lord. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but nice their defense goes back to neutral rock blast is gonna connect onto the back caliber gonna be super effective damage Let me show you how it's done <laughs> A 2 hit KO with rock blast Dude, that's insane that's actually insane what's going on guys cisco here back with some more vgc dub battles and today we've got a loaded dyke rocky payload bombard your team alongside a sand rush support houndstone now this is going to be a sand team and there are many reasons why number one it allows houndstone to double its speed in sand and if we terrestrialize our bombard into rock it gets a special defense boost and we also have intimidate on this team allowing us to make bombardier are actually pretty tanky pokemon that can dish out a ton of damage so let's talk about bombardier here it's got rocky payload which boosts the damage of damage output of rock type moves by 50 percent on top of that we're giving it the rock terra to further boost its rock damage output and it's got the loaded dice meaning that rock blast on bombardier will be boosted by rocky payload by terrestrialization and it'll hit four to five times thanks to the loaded dice and we even have the opportunity of raising our attack set with either Home Claws on Bombardier or Howl on our Houndstone. So, um, the reason why I decided to give uh, Bombardier Home Claws, even though we have Howl on Houndstone, is because giving it um, Home Claws, it allows Bombardier to be more dependent in terms of raising its own attack set. It means that we don't have to depend on Houndstone and bring Houndstone every single game in order to boost Bombardier's attack set. So, this allows Bombardier to be very flexible and allow us to bring it in with, for example, Titar, Instant, and Serena, and not have to bring Houndstone to boost our own attack stat. So, that's why we decided to give Hope Claws on Bombardier, even though we have a Howl user on the team. Now, Houndstone is going to be a speedy support Pokemon with Howl, like I said, which will be greatly beneficial for this team since we have a lot of physical attackers, and it is exactly one speed stat point faster than Bombardier, in order to allow us to go for Howl before Bombardier even gets an attack off with Rock Blast. So obviously, Sucker Punch is a priority move, so obviously uh, we want to go for Howl, maybe a Rock Blast, Howl, Home Claws, or Howl even Protect, boost Bombardier's attack stat, and allow this thing to boost up its attack and just do a insane amount of damage. Uh, Houndstone's also got uh, Allied Switch to confuse opponents and just swap positions with our allied Pokemon. It's got will o -Wisp to burn physical attackers. And finally, it has Last Respect to do a ton of damage. After they've knocked out maybe like one or two of our Pokemon, Last Respect can come out here, do a ton of damage, especially after a one or two health boost. Houndstone might be a really good closure for some of these games. Like we said, this is a sand team. So we've got Tyranitar to set up that sand with Sandshrew for us. Just a really reliable um, sand setter with Titar. Really tanky with the Solvis and with the uh, special defense boost in the sand. Now, we've got Serena on this team for coverage against water types, since we do have a couple Pokemon weak to uh, water in this team. And also to stop priority moves, you know, no one loves being faked out or getting sucker punch. So, Serena with Queen Match, she's going to help us out and stop those priority moves from coming out here and allow us to set up and get a home clause expecting when uh, a fake out is supposed to come our way. And it's also got some really strong moves, but inaccurate moves. It's got Power Whip, High Jump Kick, and Triple Axle. So, it's we've given it the wide lens to boost our accuracy a little bit more, allowing it to land some of these uh, attacks. That should do a lot of damage, but could have a good chance of missing. And finally, we have the Incineroar and the Goldengo to do just their own thing. You know what they do. They do an insane amount of damage. They are an amazing Pokemon. Incineroar, Goldengo, really strong Pokemon in the meta. There's no need to talk about that. We already know what they can do. So that is the squad. I have a good feeling that Bombardier can come here and do a ton of damage, especially with Fairy types not being so common right now. I mean, back then, it was always Fluttermane. Uh, you had Iron Valiant, so a lot of Pokemon that could do Dazzling Gleam and Moonblast, which kind of hindered Bombardier's uh, time on the field. But now, you don't really see Sylveon here, you, you don't really see Hatterene around here so much, so I think Bombardier has a really good chance of shining today in these matches. And yeah, so let's get right into these battles with Rocky Payload, Bombardier, and Sand Rush Houndstone. We've got a battle against Mark here, and we've got a Dancer or Recorio. We've got the Tinkerton, Gambit, Goldengo, and Mousel. All right, now the best scenario for Bombardier here got a lot of steel types Tinkaton resist all of Bombardier's moves so does Gambit okay all right I see, I see it I see it I see it I think we need to hound to the Bombardier here don't mind it as a lead Bring Titar and then. Instead, doesn't really do much for us. I think maybe just Serena. Actually. Let's 
between Serena or Gold Dangle here. I'll go Serena. I'll go Serena. So just some updates for the channel. Uh, we got a new camera. So hopefully we should have no more freezes in our videos anymore. Like with the webcam freezing. That should not be a thing anymore. And I think the quality is a lot better. I mean, it looks crystal clear to me here on my uh, OBS recording. So that's really good. But we actually kept the second camera because we have something really, really cool coming uh, Tuesday night. So on our next live stream, we're going to be doing really, really cool. We haven't done it before. We're going to be doing some pack openings on stream. Yep, I have a bunch of, I have two booster boxes. I have a Terrapicos EX uh, box and I have the new Charizard set that they came out with. All ready to go. I have a bunch of packs to open up. So next stream on Tuesday night, we'll be opening up, opening up some packs and we'll be doing some VGC Double Battle. So stay tuned. Stay on the lookout for that. Join. It's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to see you there. Now, back to this game. Volcarone and Oricorio. Rock Blast looks fantastic. Let's do this. Volcarone is going for a Quiver Dance. I can tell you that. And then... Ori Koryu is going for Revelation End. So that's why we're terrestrializing away from our blind typing so that it's not a super effective hit. I hope so. Of course. Of course you protect the Ori Koryu. So they get a free... Quiver Dance boost. So they're both sitting plus one in speed. They're definitely going to outspeed us now. I mean, they outspeed, they outspeed us regardless here. So it didn't really matter here. But now they get to see what terror type we are. Which is the scary part. Rock Blast is going to get blocked. We should be seeing a Terra come out here soon. So... I don't know. I kind of like the idea of Sucker Punch here. Sucker Punch and swap into Titar. Give ourselves a special defense boost. I like it. Sucker Punch should be able to do a good amount of damage onto Oricorio. And we should be able to survive some shots here, especially with the uh, Sand uh, boost here. Come on, my bird here. I need you to survive these shots here. So the Sand is getting set up. Uh, we're both going to be extra tankier here. They are going to terrestrial us like we expected. Who's it going to be? Are you ground? They're fighting! Oh no. Oh no! Circle Punch is not gonna be neutral damage anymore. Oh my goodness. Circle Punch comes out. Does great damage, but I'm gonna get punched in the face with this revelation dance. Hang on, Bombardier, hang on! A critical hit too, bro! Oh come on! Critical hit. Of course you're fighting type. Of course you're fighting type. And the Giga Drain the t -tar. Okay. I think I have to play here. Unfortunately, my bird didn't, they didn't do anything in this one. But I think we have to play here still. So. We go into Houndstoon. Ally switch rock slide or ally switch EQ. I think rock slide is the way to go. Yeah, let's go rock slide. Because they want to go for a revelation dance into fine. Perfectly fine. We're swapping spots here, baby. Let's go for the quiver dance. Crazy. Now, I don't know if Houndstoon outspeeds here. Don't know if Houndstoon is able to outspeed here. Rock is going to get blocked by the Oricory. I think I have to swap out my T-Tar this turn then. We are going to say bye-bye to Volcarona, -Bye which is very nice. But I think I'm going to have to swap T-Tar here. Or Curse gonna take some buffets. Yeah, we're swapping T-Tar here for sure. 
We would just wasted our terror too, though. Oh, not the mouse hold. Not the mouse hold. I guess we go into Serena here. I can go last respect. If they follow me, that's just a, that's just doing no damage. Go for Howl. Just get a Howl boost on Serena. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Yeah, it's just follow me. It's just a good old follow me here. Revelation Nets is going to fly into our Serena. We should be able to survive one at least, right? Nice. I think we're just in a really tough position here. That fighting terror, terror, fighting terror revelation ends on the Oricorio was just disgusting. If they protect Oricorio here, we might be okay. But they've got to protect Oricorio here. Let's go. They might be pop bombing the Serena slot here. Double protect. How pathetic are you? Really? Double protect for no reason? And I, we're going to die to high jump kick. We're going to die to high jump kick recoil. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is sad. Bro, that is sad. T Tar, I need you to pull off a miracle here. Well, if we're able to get another ally switch off here, we have a chance. Please! No, it fails. We don't get it. They go for follow me. They're gonna go for Revelation Dance into T Tar, and that's gonna be GG's. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We got done by a little electric bird here. Got obliterated by the electric bird. I mean, I think we wasted our tarot way too soon. Yeah, we wasted our tarot too soon. Hey, but it is what it is. GG's. All right, we got a battle against Mike here. We got a Pelipper. We got a Palafin. Our child on. Two Steel types, two Flying types, and a Fire type. So, Bumper here is so so. So so. Don't want to lead it. Uh, what's the idea here? I think T Tar is more of a back end Pokemon, I think, for us. T Tar is definitely more of a back end Pokemon here. Um. I think I like Incineroar lead. Do I bring Houndstone or Serena? I think we go Serena here. I think we go Serena. We got to bounce back after that first match because we just got obliterated in that first match. We got destroyed by a flying electric type bird. Revelation Dance. Fighting Revelation Dance. Insane. All right, let's go. Let's make a comeback against this rain team. Shutting down the rain team will be feeling good. Palafin and Sinner. Okay, that's not great. That's not great. Timothy's going to come out here. Palafin is just going to swap out. They're just gonna swap the Palafin or go for a flip turn and probably fake out with the Incineroar. So we're gonna try to set a hole close off if we can and just party shot out. 
Yep, okay, they just withdraw. Okay, that's fine. So no flip to another Palafin. It's going to be the Pelipper. So we are going to get weather control here, which is really, really good. Unless they pick out my Incineroar. No, they pick out Bumberry. Perfect. Let's go. That's beautiful. That's honestly beautiful. So Pornish is going to come out here. We're going to lower, uh, put this Incineroar to minus two in attack. Kind of forcing him to swap out now. And we're going to get full weather control right here. Full weather control. Welcome in Tyranitar. We'll get the sand up. And now we're looking really good. I could look to throw maybe... Hmm. Can I just throw Rock Slide here? Rock Slide and maybe go for one home clause here? Yeah, we'll go for that. Because they're kind of in a position now where they need to swap in order to get weather control again. That kind of wants me to think that they have our child on in the back. <sighs> this game, bro. This game. We get a home close off, though. So it's not bad. We get one home close off. And they are going to party shot. That's fine. Are you going to come into Palaf in here? If you come into Palafin, I can just... This is going to be a long game. This is going to be a long game of swapping in and out. Can you come into Palafin? <laughs> so Rockside is going to get blocked as a wide guard. Lucky you. I kind of like the idea of swapping into Incineroar here. You are taking a lot of buffet damage, though. Palafin is taking no buffet damage? Excuse me? Do we think they go Jet Punch? Or like Wave Crash? Because if I swap Incineroar here, they might be going for a Wave Crash into that slot, and that'll probably just get rid of my Incineroar. So I think I like the idea of better coming into Serena here. Yep, just gonna withdraw on Pelipper. Should be Incineroar. Yeah. Back to minus one we go. Not great. But we're gonna come in with Serena here. So this is gonna be a minus one Rock Blast here. Not gonna do much damage onto an Incineroar. And I kind of just don't want, um, a do go for a jet punch. That's actually really good. That's actually really good. So we get a free rock blast off. Even though we're minus one, how much damage are we doing here? That's not bad. That's three. Three is, he's, he's a half already. He has a berry, of course. But we're going to leave this incinerator at half HP here. If we land the fifth one. Nope, we land four. It's not bad, though. It's not bad. Oh, well, Birdie's gonna take some more buffets here. I know. Yeah, they have a rock last year, and I just go power whip into the Palafin slot. I think that's a safe bet. Serena definitely outspeeds their Incineroar here. It doesn't outspeed the Palafin, but Palafin can't KO my, my Serena. And they might want to just swap out the Incineroar for Palafin here. So, I'm okay with this turn. And they're not swapping, so Rock Blast should be able to get rid of this Incineroar here at minus one. Yep, that's three. We're guaranteed at least four, five, five Incineroar. Let's go. That's a huge KO. That's a huge KO. And we get a critical hit, the last one. That's a good KO right there. We're not going to outspeed this guy. Ice Punch flies. They get rid of Bomber here. We're going to take this trade all day. As long as Serena lands his power. Let's go, Serena. Serena's a beast, baby. Power up, getting rid of this Palafin. And now it's a 3v2. We should have full weather control right here. Absolutely full weather control. Do I go into... Well, 
I'm going Sinor. I'm going to go with Sinor just because I don't know the speed between Pelipper and Archa and my T Tar. My T Tar should be slower, but just in case their Pelipper is slower, I don't want them to have full weather control. Because it's going to be Archa. They still have Terrestrialization here. Rain is going to come out. Intimidate is not going to mean anything. They can probably get swap, but that's perfectly fine. T Tar is going to come out here. And I don't think they can read this high jump kick in the face. I don't think they read that. I don't think they can read that. Our chat on doesn't have anything that can pick up a one hit kill on my Serena here. So I think we're sitting in a good position. They probably want to go a hurricane into Serena. But hopefully it doesn't land. We are going to Terra now. We're gonna be straight dragon, okay. We're still gonna take neutral. We have triple axe for you next turn if we can survive this turn. So I don't mind it. High jump kick connects. Yeah, speed, so. Hmm. Hmm. Don't love how well you took that shot. Oh, but we took that shot even better. And they, of course, they connect our hurricane, man. Serena survive? Buffets. Oh my goodness, man. Oh, this is going to be a tough match. This is going to be a long match. This is going to be a long match. Um... I just don't have really anything that can benefit me here. And then we go rock slide and fake out into Pelipper. Because I really want to get rid of Pelipper here. So that I can't go for any weather balls onto my Incineroar. Well, it's not Cobra Cloak Pelipper. If it's Cobra Cloak Pelipper, they might have a chance of winning this game. And that's what it really comes down to. Because I think Incineroar and T Tar can win the 1v2 versus our child on. Nice to Rocky Homer. Let's go, baby. Flash Cat is going to fly. We should be able to soak this one. Nice. Beautiful. Pelipper flinches. And then Rock Slide double connects. And we get rid of the Pelipper. Let's go, baby. That's absolutely huge. Now, Body Press. Body Press is the next course of action that we got to worry about. Our chat on is taking Buffets to half HP now. I think we go for one knockoff to Rasslice and go for another knockoff. A we'll parting shot here. Hmm. Yeah, I go for party shot. Let's just be annoying. I think this is how we, we seal this game out. I think that's how we seal this game out. Going to Ghost Terra. Dragon Pulse, Flash Cat, Electroshot, Body Press. Nothing can hit me for super effective damage anymore. It's all neutral damage. We are not taking any buffets while they are. I think we're sitting in a good position here. Body Press goes into t -tar, unfortunately, which is fine. It's fine. And we're going to party shot. Lower that special attack, put it to minus one. It's not going to be doing much damage anymore. And I think that's the way to go. I think I got to go for maybe one or two more uh, party shots. And just keep lowering this thing's special attack and then go for a knockoff to get rid of it. Let Buffets do its thing. Put that HP bar lower. And then we go for one knockoff. There's a Dragon Pulse. How much is it doing? Minus one. Come on. Oh, let's go. That's good. That's good. Minus two. But if it's going to take a little more health from it. Please tell me we have two more turns of sand. I think we have one only. Yeah. So I think at this point we're just going for knockoff here. Knockoff is a Zolt Fest. Flash Cannon flies. We soak. Our health bar is getting dangerously low. Get another stamina boost. And Sandstorm ends. 
We need to survive two more turns here. We need to survive two more turns. We need two more knockoffs here. Uh, anyone can get a crit now. Anyone can get a crit. Okay, we survive. We might need three. Bro, we might need three. No. Flash Cannon is doing 20 or 30? Dragon Pulse. I need a KO here. Incineroar, please. Oh, no. I cannot believe we just lost this game. Wow. I cannot believe we just lost this game. That is absurd. There is no way, no reason they should have won this game. We outplayed them to the max. Our chat on is just a dumb Pokemon. Oh, come on. All right, we've got a Sun team here with, ooh, 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 ooh. I don't love that. <laughs> I definitely do not love that. We gotta get that weather control. Or oh, I'm worried about the, I'm worried about um the indeed he plays here. Do I think I like um what oh, definitely need Tarantar here? Get another weather battle. Um I like my bird here and T Tar for their dark typings here. And it's Cinnaroar. I think I go on Bird or House soon here. Bring T-Tar for the back. Just in case they lead the Torkoal. And then... Do I go Serena or Incineroar here? Or Gold Dangle. Serena looks pretty nice with Triple Axel here. Incineroar doesn't really do much for the squad here. Uh, how about Gold Dangle? Gold Dangle could be pretty nice as well. Can't be put to sleep. We'll go Gold Dango. We'll go Gold Dango. We'll go Gold Dango. I can't believe we lost that last match. That was so disappointing. Stamina boost just went crazy there. And my Incineroar just doesn't have enough attack investment to it. We needed one more Sandstorm chip damage. One more. All right. So at least straight weather. Pretty good for us. This means I might just want to swap out Bombardier here and come into T-Tar. And go for a Willow here. Let's go for that. Try to burn the Lilligan here. Eruption might be able to do enough damage to take out my Hound soon, but it's not going to take out my T-Tar for sure, so not too worried about it. So we're going to get full weather control right here. Willow is going to... Are you kidding me? Willow's going to miss? It didn't really matter in this turn, but Willow missing is kind of ridiculous here. Willow missing is kind of ridiculous. CC could be flying into the T-Tar slot. And I don't want to waste my Terra yet. So I'm just going to go Rock Slide here. And now I switch. They might swap out um, Torkoal and just go for CC into the T-Tar slot. So I'm just going to go Allied Switch. Have the close combat go into no one. And get a free Rock Slide onto the opposing side here. Hopefully put this thing in range of a Last Respects KO. But we'll see. If not, then we'll just Terrastice our T-Tar here. I don't really mind it. I feel like their back-end Pokemon might be um, Indeedee and Armourage. But that Willow missing is kind of tough. Can we draw Lilligan? Who's coming in here? It's a double swap. Okay. Alright, fair enough. The double swap.
They might want to set up Trick Room, so we're going to want to stop that. They're going to be able to see Ally Switch as well. But them not doing the double stop makes you believe that it is, um... That it is the... Arm Rouge in the back. Let's go Howl and EQ here. I just go Howl Rock Slide. Why would I go EQ? Yeah, Howl Rock Slide. There's not much threatening me here. It's not much threatening me here. We'll give our T-Tar a plus one attack. Let it go for a Rock Slide. Do an absurd amount of damage here onto both Torkoal and Ndidi. And even if they swap into Lilligan here, Lilligan is going to be taking quite a bit of damage from this Rock Slide. So they swap out the Torkoal. This is their last Pokemon here. It is the Arm Rouge. So Arm Rouge might be saying bye-bye here. How's going to come out here? Raising our attacks each by one. And Titor, show me the magic. Um... <laughs> oh, Armour's still dead anyways. Armour is still dead. But Eruption can get pretty scary right now. Eruption can get really scary right now. <clears throat> but I feel like T-Tar survives it. Resisted damage. Assault Vest. I feel like we still survive one. They're gonna get the sun up. I'm not gonna swap in Goldengo. I think we just sacrifice Houndstoon here. I feel like we have to sacrifice Houndstoon. last respects there and then just another rock slide yeah yep let's go for the simple eruption bye bye hound soon that's perfectly fine Titar soaks out like a champ and then dd probably goes for dazzling gleam oh we outspeed it oh we outspeed it baby let's go so Titar coming out here with the sweep hound soon helping it out tremendously here hound soon's helping it out tremendously here we can't go for the Sucker Punch, unfortunately. We're just gonna go Rock Blast into you, and then go for... a Rock Slide. Should be fine. T-Tar survives any shot from this Torkoal. Unless they switch into Heatwave, Bombardier is gonna die out here. But... Oh, they should protect. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Rock Slide's gonna fly through. Should chip up this little get a little bit. A lot of it. <laughs> a lot of it. And then Rock Slide... Could we finish it off with five? No, no, no. Unless we get a crit. There's a four. And we don't get the five. So CC is going to fly into the T-Tar. Oh. Sure. I mean, sure. I'll take it. You should have gone close combat into T-Tar. T-Tar is the slowest Pokemon after their Torkoal. T-Tar is the one putting pressure on you, not... Bombardier. Look for an overheat. We survived that no problem. Yeah, it's, that's no problem. EQ flies next. Bye bye Torkoal. Bye bye Lilligan, I believe. Let's go, baby. Let's go, T Tar. T Tar carrying this one on his back after two losses in a row. T Tar said, nah, you guys need me for a little bit. GG's, baby. Alright, we've got a battle against Hush. 
some really dope looking Pokemon, but I don't see the synergy in the team, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I think I like Bombardier here. Gambit seems to be a little bit of a problem for the um, Bombardier here. Do I even need weather control here? Do I need weather control? Not really. I think we go these four. I think those four are really good. Maybe I should have led Bombardier and Incineroar gone for a fake out and a home clause. I think that could have been a better lead, but we could also go for Howl and Protect. So I don't really mind it. I don't really mind it. I don't really mind it. Yeah, I think Protect. Protect Howls are okay, but I think uh, Fake Out and Home Calls would have been a lot better. Would have been a lot better. But it's fine, we can play around it. We can play around it. Ooh, it's Titan. Alright, what you got for me? What you got for me? Blaze is getting back Excalibur, okay. A little scary. I'm not gonna deny. Fine with me too. That is perfectly fine with me too. Ice Crispy is gonna get blocked, baby. Let's go. And we get a free howl, baby. Free howl right here. And now they're not gonna go CC into the house soon because we are ghost typey, so a CC there would never make sense. So the swap into Incineroar is just free. To rasalize our hound our bombardier into rock, go for a rock blast and swap into the incinerator. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. How to come back. Beautiful. Thank you for the howl. Incinerator coming out. Give me those nice little intimidates onto two physical attackers right here, baby. Alright, Blaze get is clear. I mean, that's fine. The back caliber is not. And we are now going to terrestrialize our Bombardier. Who could be doubled into right now, which could be pretty scary. They could be doubling into the Bombardier twice, but I'm hoping they're not. Ooh, coaching. Okay, I like it. I like it. Ice Coast Spear shouldn't. Scale shot. Oh, we, we should, please stop, stop, stop. Oh my goodness, thank the Lord. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but nice, their defense goes back to neutral. Rock Blast is going to connect onto the back caliber. Going to be super effective damage. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> A 2 hit KO with Rock Blast? Dude, that's insane. That's actually insane. I don't know the speed boost. They could be detecting the blaze skin here. So I'm just gonna fake it out. Ooh, I do have Sucker Punch ready to go. I do have Sucker Punch ready to go. Let's do that. Let's do that. Come on, baby. Let me get two KOs with Bombardi here, and we are sitting perfect. Fake out's gonna fly to blaze skin. Let's go. Beautiful. Sucker Punch is going to fly next onto Basket Legion. Picking up another one hit KO, baby. Let's go, Bombardier. Oh, Bombardier is having its game right now. Now, we still have another problem on our hands because no one is outspeeding this blade skin right now. Do have a Gambit. Do you have the Gambit? Okay, hold up. 
Should be Sucker Punch into Bombardier and CC into Pounced into this Incineroar slot, right? I'll, I'll be fine taking a CC with Serena to the face. To stop the priority move and allow my Bombardier to attack here. I think I like that. I think I like that play. Oh, I, it should be Sucker Punch from the Gambit to get rid of my um, low HP Bombardier. Let's go for Air Blitz. Ah, let's go for Air Blitz. They still have Terra in line as well. Still have Terra. We'll go Kowtow. You went Kowtow into a Dark type Pokemon? Like. What sense does that make? Oh, come on. Now we're tough here. Now we're sitting in a tough position here. I have one play left. One play. I think that's my only play. I didn't want to bring in Cinemore, even though we do have the pickout option. Because now the Gambit will be at plus one, and a plus one Sucker Punch might be able to KO my Serena here. And we don't want that. We don't want that. They still do have Terra in line, though. And we already wasted our Terra. But Flare Blitz into... I don't know, that, that kind of didn't make sense. I don't know going to come out. Hopefully, they're going Flare Blitz into Houndsman Slot. Yes, beautiful, okay? So, no Sucker Punch, meaning we do outspeed. Serena lands his high jump kick. Get a burner Houndsman, that's fine. Don't really care. Come on, Serena. Let's go, Serena. Quad super effective. High jump kick into the Gambit and a critical hit. Bye bye, Gambit. Let's go, baby. I'm guessing it didn't have Sucker Punch. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I don't know. But now we're sitting in a good spot. 4v1. Um, we got another speed boost. Doesn't really matter though. Because they can't pick up a double KO. So we're just going to go high jump kick into the blaze kit. Or high jump kick. I'm going to go high jump kick. High jump kick and then um, last respects. Flare Blitz again into Houndstoon. We survive on two. Last respects does decent damage. And Serena, if you land this, we pick up the thug. And of course, Serena's got my back, baby. Let's go, boys. No sand needed. And Houndstoon and Bomberger is still thriving. Bomberger picking up two hit KO on... Um, Bax Calibur is insane. GG's. All right, we got a battle against Dean here, and it's going to be revenge. Revenge for that rain team that we should have won against. A little dumb march out on. What lead do I like here? I need the Serena, though. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Even though they don't have priority, Serena just looks really good in terms of damage output. Triple Axe for the Dragonite. Um, outwit for the Basque Legion. And High Jump Kick for our Chaton and the Mouse Hold. So, it's a damage output from the move pool coverage from... Uh, yeesh. Yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. Give her the muscle. Just give her the muscle. That's fine. I ain't going for no home claws. Don't worry. Kyle's gonna come through. Give us a plus one on our Bombardier. And we should be able to outspeed this arch out on here. Nice. Two. If we land five, we get we get the KO. 
But burn your police. A little tough, a little tough. Flash cannon is perfectly fine. We survived that, no problem. Uh, we could go for sucker punch here. And maybe an ally switch. Well, how's about a burn on our chat on? Don't mind it. Bye bye muscle. I don't think they're power. He would have gone for it first turn. And nice, we land the Willowis. It's not gonna do much in terms of his damage output unless it has body press, but it is gonna do gradual um damage to this arch on which is what we need. And then you just go for another flash cannon. Which does a little more damage. Okay. Now what? Now what are we doing? We got rid of one Pokemon. They've got to have the Pelipper in the back. We are outspeeding the Archad on here though. Which is really good to know. Sinister. Alright. Don't mean anything. Could be going for Rage Powder or Matcha Gacha. So Sucker Punch isn't the play here. I think I want to just... Oh, I can't protect. Is Pelper in the back then? Is the Pelper in the back? Let's just go for another Howl. Why not? Get up on Birdie to plus two. Or I would get rid of the Sinister. Again, if we get five, we get the kill. Oh, or if we get a crit. I speak too soon sometimes. If we get double crit. We got the five hits, but they had the Sinch Fairy. Shadow Ball flies. It's gonna get rid of Houndstoon. But Houndstoon did this thing already. Houndstone already did his thing. And then you go for flash cannons here. Does good damage though. But now we just come Serena. Go for high jump kick into our chat on. Should be fine. We'll go Rock Blast here. And then just high jump kick into the Arch out on here. Should be fine. Don't see a problem here. Right? Okay, we've drawn Sinister. Is that going to be Pelipper? It is going to be Pelipper, so we should be saying bye bye to Pelipper here. They are going to get the rain, but we are going to say bye bye to Pelipper. Oh, they terrestrialized. Into what? Grass, okay, Triple Axle could do something. Yeesh. Yeesh. Not loving this. Not loving this. But Pelipper is getting bye bye With three Rock Blasts. Excuse me. And they probably go for... Electro Shot into Bombardier here, right? High Jumping Connects. Does decent damage. Nothing crazy. The stamina boost though is just what's annoying. And they do go for electro shot. They do go for the electro shot. Alright, Bob Birdie, you did absolutely fantastic. Got rid of two Pokemon and left us a Sinisha on one HP. But the hospitality boost is gonna bring this Archad on back to full HP here. Ah, right, we've got a whole match ahead of us. We've got a whole match ahead of us. And I'm not loving it. I 
do have Terra Blast on Titar. Yeah, it's what I gotta go for. Terra Blast here and then Triple Axel into the Sinisha. Just in case we go for Rage Fighter, we get rid of the Sinisha first. And then Terra Blast will guarantee be landing into the Arch on here. They can't go for any more Electro Shot, so Terrasalizing into Flying here is just the safest bet. We're not gonna make the same mistake as last time. We Terrasalized Incinera way too earlier. But T-Tar gets the Terra here. Flying Terra, Terra Blast should be able to do a decent amount of damage onto... On Torchado, we get rid of the Sinisha. So now it's 2v1. More damage output. Flash Cannon, we soak that, no problem. Actually, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt quite a bit. Terra Blast flies. How much damage are we doing here? Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. I think combination between Triple Axel and. Um. Yeah, between Sans Chip, Bird Chip, and our damage, we're good. We're good. So we got our revenge this time. We got our revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. We go for Terra Blast. We go for Triple Axel. And that should be GG's. Triple Axel each time is going to give us a stamina boost, but we do more damage with the Triple Axel. We should probably be able to pick up the KO here. The 1 HPs, man. Just the 1 HPs. Draco Major, but we still survived. We're good. We're all good. Here comes Tyrannosaur with the Terra Blast. Gonna get rid of the Archon. That's gonna be GG's, baby. Let's go. We got our revenge on our raid team. Got lucky the first time. Got lucky the first time. GG's. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our Rocky Payload Bombardier and Sand Rush Houseman team is complete. And Bombardier was a surprising beast. I mean, besides the fact that we got obliterated by a electric type um or choreo with fighting type revelation dance besides that this seemed absolutely fantastic i mean the second game that we lost was just a really close nail biter that we they won by one hp literally survived on one hp thanks to stamina boosted um our channel but besides that the other three games we destroyed and demolished the opposing side with both Wall burger and houseman and serena actually did really good work didn't bring in Goldengo a single time, so that's how you know the rest of the team is really good. But well, you don't gotta bring a super meta Pokemon to get your dubs. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.